only see China. You need to be here. To truly know China, you need to talk to its people. Our Chinese people seldom led the war, but in solar thermal years, we are leaders. To truly understand China, you need to put it in a global context, and that's what we've done to see the big picture. Red, red, red. Advances in technology and infrastructure, increased mobility and people-to-people -people contacts. Connectivity is linking all nations and cultures and is shifting the future relations among them. This connectivity will shape China's role in the world. Problems exist in all nations. This internationally recognized wetland used to be a heaven for the relical, but the damage to the ecosystem has led to the sharp decrease in nesting. What is your dream for this wetland reserve? We are located here. Do you have any dream? Over the past few years, the government has taken a much more strict approach to curb that problem. These men are out at sea every single day looking for boats that are engaging in illegal fishing activities that's currently threatening Indonesia's marine biodiversity. When you see the level of destruction, it seems unrealistic to think that the government might start to tackle problems like poverty alleviation. Now in Africa, accessing health care can be a challenge. And because that aspect is still failing, it means that primary health care overall then begins to fail. Competing interests and converging benefits. What we want to see is the true cost of those components, not tariffs falsely put in place due to any government restriction or any government program. We also want the ability to sell products into other markets. I love American manufacturing, so I would love to manufacture as much here as possible. And for that, they depend on a global supply chain. For decades now, China has been the factory floor for the world, but now there's a trend in the opposite direction. The United States is becoming a factory floor for China. And different ideas of the meaning of life. And I feel that in our generation, especially my generation, we tend to just kind of block our ears to every other voice. Pursuit of common ground may someday successfully prevail again. These are scenes from the world's big picture. And when we put them together, we get a clearer view of China's role in the world and better answers for the world's role in China. The images in our stories are the expressions of our understanding of the big picture. Someone's loss may be another's gain. I love um, New Zealand. Uh, there are many things that I can do here, uh, for example, surfing, that I couldn't really do from my hometown in China. And that means with more Chinese consumers to connect with, there's a push to open up the communication channels. One place success can be a reference for the rest. 
Floating solar farms aren't new, and they've been set up in other countries in the past. But what makes this one remarkable is its sheer scale and capacity. When manufacturing ends, the transporting starts. And it is a journey of greater speed and grander scale than ever before. This 13,000 kilometer train route could already point to significant success. One country's solutions may affect the choices of others. The openness here to it, creating new products for new market. This is something that makes a difference. Israel's startups are looking to China for its tremendous market potential, and China is not disappointing. It's seen in many ways as part of a regional success story, a pioneering period of transition which gave way to a thriving new era. People everywhere have the same desire for safety, prosperity, peace, and health. Some are struggling just to survive. I have studied only till fourth grade because we were poor. Some are starting a new life. When we had our third child, we realized that a large family is not so scary or difficult. So we had our fourth and fifth children. Some are determined to preserve their identity. Like any language, if it doesn't get passed on to the next generation, it's not going to survive, it's not going to last. It is a perfect example of how soft power is used to change perceptions built over centuries. And some are working for a better tomorrow. I hope that there are more people who can drink a good drink. Then go to the house and find out the beauty of the house. There definitely will be a lot of exciting things happening in the next five to ten years. As long as we keep the openness, the creativity, there will be definitely a bright future. A country of this size that has moved towards a market economy. So, what are the solutions? And how does China fit into the big picture? Exporting their goods to China. It manufactures the skyline. Isn't too sweet. Trying to strike a balance. One of uh, the first places. The campaign is young. But it's common. It's common to them. Well, it's huge. It's multi dimensional poverty. The number of firms. NGOs in China are seeking new ways to respond to the rise in the world. When Xi Jinping visited this region. It all depends on how much of it you see. And the big picture keeps changing.